Motorola can do 2560 by 1600, and so can Samsung DeX, except this is a 120 hertz display. On Motorola Ready 4, it's still capped at 60 hertz, so it's a tie between Motorola and Samsung. Motorola can do 3840 by 2160, which is 4K. Additionally, if you have one of those touchscreen monitors um, from Ugreen or the like, it will also work natively by recognizing the USB input. It's a tie because Samsung DeX can do it as well, but Motorola Ready 4 can do even higher resolutions, which I'll get to next. Motorola also seems to be able to do 5120 by 2160, which is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, basically 4K, but 33% stretched on side to side. Um, I don't know if it can do 8K, but the specs say DisplayPort 1.4, so in theory, it should be able to do 8K at 60 Hertz, although that might be a little bit insane. 1920 by 1280 is basically a more square-like 1080p ratio. Uh, Samsung DeX does not support it, but as you can see, Motorola's Ready for Desktop mode seems to support just about anything, so I'm going to throw a really weird resolution at it and see what it does. 2560 by 2160 is a very weird resolution. It is half of this LG 5K 2K ultra wide. So this is generally a 4K display, 3840 by 2160, expanded 33%. So the real resolution is 5120 by 2160. If you cut it in half, you can have one source on the left and one source on the right. If you hook it into Motorola Ready For, it'll properly use this half resolution. So that's pretty good if you want to goof around with stuff on your phone and then work over here. Or if you have some 4x3-ish aspect ratio games or something else going on, you can do that. Next, I'm going to try splitting it into two-thirds and one-third. See how it does that. So this is kind of interesting. If you have an ultra-wide monitor that doesn't just let you split it in half, but split it in two-thirds and one-third, uh, Motorola DeX can't really figure this out. It's stuck at 1920 by 1080. So DeX can do this as well, but it's interesting to note that um, with one of these monitors, it'll have a 3840 by 2160 over here, and then it'll have the extra third bit over here. Motorola doesn't play nice with it. I kind of thought that it would. We'll try now doing a 4K. I have high hopes. We'll see what happens. Okay, this does work. If you have a 5K, 2K, or 4K ultra wide, whatever you want to call it, 5120 by 2160 display, Motorola Ready 4 will work at a full 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160, on this side. This previous side is 1280 by 2160 which is a weird resolution for some reason motorola ready 4 cannot adapt itself to this the same way okay this is a weird resolution it's the lg dual up 2560 by 2880 and if you try to use it with motorola ready 4 as one big screen it will not work it'll max out at 1080p and it'll either stretch it or it'll center it in the middle of the screen, depending on the monitor settings. It will only work at 1920 by 1080p on this display. However, if you change it to um, half and half, where you have picture by picture mode, you can get it to work at 2560 by 1440 on one or the other screens. One of the issues with a lot of um, crazy screens, let's call them, is if they do have a mode that lets you split it into two screens, while in Windows and Mac you can change the orientation and things like that, with Samsung DeX or Motorola ready for, it's, it's not going to happen. So you get what you get. Generally, I'd want to have this screen rotated 90 degrees and use that aspect ratio, but if 
you're using this monitor, it's, it's not gonna happen. The best you can do is have your phone at 1440p on the top or the bottom. Motorola can also do 3840 by 2560, which is slightly more than 4K. You'll only find this resolution on a Huawei MateView 28, um, but it can support more than 4K. Samsung DeX cannot support this. And additionally, Samsung DeX is not very good at speaking with the monitor about stretching its resolution or scaling up. Uh, Motorola 4 doesn't seem to have any issue with that. Motorola can do 1600 by 1200, which is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Samsung DeX cannot. And with an 8K television, it's not working. I have an HDMI 2.1 cable, and I have a USB-C to HDMI 2.1 adapter. I know that this does 4K 120 hertz, so it's definitely HDMI 2.1 from my laptop. But when you plug it into an 8K TV, it does not work. So let's say you really wanted to push the envelope with this and connect it up to a CRT. Um, good news and bad news. 1920 by 1080 p that's as good as you're going to get. I know for a fact that using this adapter and this cable with this exact monitor, I can get 1920 by 1440, 60 hertz, no problem from Windows PC. I generally go for 1280 by 1024, which looks better. I'll bet that if you got an LCD monitor that's able to do the handshake, you could do 1280 by 1024, the same way I was able to do 1600 by 1200. But Motorola Deck, sorry, Motorola Ready 4 sends it here and it's just gonna display 1080p. You might be able to you know, scrunch things up, etc. cetera. Um, <laughs> something to try, I guess, if you wanted to do retro gaming or emulation stuff through a CRT, but yeah, unfortunately, you can't select anything. The best you can do with Motorola Dex, if I can find my cursor here, um, which I can't, is there's a selection pane here. It will tell you all the things that it can do. It'll choose the highest and it'll go to the lowest. Um, right, so these are some 16 by 9 aspect ratios, but it really can't do much more than that. So... For those of you out there with 22-inch CRTs that can do 2048 by 1536, you're not going to get it with this. However, I have owned a 2048 by 1536 medical panel um, by, I think it's Izo, E-I-Z-O. I think that would work. Not really sure. Another panel that I would like to try is there is a 14 inch portable monitor that is 3072 by 1920 at 90 hertz. I don't think it'll be able to display the 90 hertz, but I'm somewhat confident that Motorola, that Motorola Ready 4, which is such a terrible name, could probably run that resolution natively. CRTs don't have the ability to do this handshake back and forth and I'm not really sure if there's other stranger resolutions that are out there that are really common outside of your typical 1440p ultrawide, 2K, 4K. I did go to the Apple store and try to use this with both versions of Apple's latest displays. One of them is a 5K display. It does not work at all. And then the 32 inch one, which has some crazy resolution of 3000 something by 1600 something, because it's Thunderbolt, and this is USB-C, it will not work at all. So you cannot use Motorola Ready 4 or Samsung DeX on an Apple Studio display monitor. Just in case you were wondering, I've tried everything under the sun. 4 by 3 aspect ratios are good if you want to do emulation, because you can plug Motorola Ready 4 directly into one of these square screens, and using a USB-C dock, pick up a controller, um, yeah, and play games. Obviously, some of them have widescreen patches. Some of them don't, so 
you have one of these lying around, there you go. 